This near pound 80, 000 car is nevertheless something of a poster child within the corporate headquarters of Daimler AG in Stuttgart, where all the product planning, the marketing and the accounting happens, and, bluntly, where the bottom line is the primary concern. It's also where they'll be giving themselves a big pat on the back, because demand for SUVs such as the GLC has been nothing short of phenomenal. In fact, it has played a decisive role in Mercedes-Benz last year shoring up its position as the world's biggest luxury manufacturer. Compatriot brand BMW previously held that title for a decade, so it's a momentous achievement. There is also the small matter that next year's pure electric XCSUV a product for which the term game changer could well prove to be something of an undersell, will share this SUV's production underpinnings. For a model that has never particularly tickled enthusiasts, the GLC is building a significant legacy. The line leading GLC 63 S formatic plus is, or at least should be, more obviously concerned with the matter of driving. As the performance-oriented coupe derivative of a medium-sized premium SUV, its taxonomy is idiosyncratic. And yet despite the niche player status, it could be argued that this car is also everything that currently makes Mercedes such an aspirational brand condensed into one package. A glorious sounding AMG engine of 8 cylinders, a raised driving position and an urbane design whose heavy set but strangely gentle curvature is calculated in its mass market appeal. Of course. Were you to throw all your favorite ingredients into a salad bowl, the resulting concoction would probably be repulsive. But it might just be the best thing to ever hit your taste buds. So which is it for this multifaceted AMG? The GLC's capacious cabin is getting a touch long in the tooth. Will that be of much consequence for a four-cylinder diesel version costing less than £40,000? Perhaps not. But anybody spending double that for an AMG badge might expect more in the way of material quality and a digital showcase. Certainly, dark fabrics and a high dashboard mean it's suitably foreboding within, but compared with the vast glass displays that sit adjacent to one another in the dash of the E-Class, this car's analog dials and heavily bezeled screen seem a touch off the pace. It's no surprise that a range spanning update next year will introduce a digital instrument binnacle as an option. One might also expect fewer plastics within the interior's lower hemisphere and among the finer trim details, on the vents, for instance, and we'd readily trade some of the extensive carbon fiber trim for a greater sense of robustness. One tester commented on the flimsiness of the pivoting cover for the cubby in the center console. Another noted the slight play in the window switches. No such complaints arose when we tested Audi's SQ7, although the Mercedes cabin does boast a greater drama quotient. This is not least because of its firmly supportive, low slung bucket seats and swooping transmission tunnel. The most expensive GLC of all gets the same command online setup that you'll find in a top spec C class. As such, you get not only the same moderately well resolved 8.4 in display, DAB radio and satellite navigation, but also the unintuitive touchpad on the transmission tunnel. Fortunately, there's a rotary controller positioned beneath it, and it's this that you'll mainly use to navigate the system's generally straightforward functionality, albeit with some latency, it must be said, particularly just after startup. In the end, BMW's iDrive system remains easily the more intuitive digital landscape to find your way around, and it looks neater too. This being an AMG model, there's also the track pace app, which, in the unlikely event of the car seeing any circuit action, can send real-time parameters such as speed and steering angle to an iPhone app, saving lap and sector times all the while. If you record your lap, the software can then superimpose telemetry data on the imagery. At 500 liters, boot space exactly matches that of the Macan and the similarly profiled BMW X4, and as per the BMW, a sloping roof limits the capacity for carrying taller items. Factor in the awkwardly narrow boot opening and this car is about as suitable for a run to the tip as it is likely to be seen at one, although passenger space along the rear bench is adequate, even for six-footers. The central occupant will need to straddle the transmission tunnel, mind. An engine of this boorish strength gives you license to disregard the laws of physics, it seems. With a full tank of fuel, our test car weighed in at 2,055 kilograms, 
a touch above the claim figure but not deceitfully so, and then dispatched 60 miles per hour from rest in just 3.7 seconds. Moreover, it rattled off the 30 to 70 miles per hour dash in 3.3 seconds, some 0.2 seconds quicker than Audi's considerably lighter but not much less powerful RS4 Avon could manage. The Mercedes AMG's engine isn't quite as flexible, though, taking just under a second longer to dispatch the same increment while locked in fourth gear, but you'll find keeping the tachometer needle within and indeed extending it beyond the broad 5,500 to 6,250 revolutions per minute window where all 503 bhp is metered out to be no or at all. Twin turbocharged it may be. But this 4.0-litre V8 spins freely out to the 7,000 revolutions per minute redline, and how? Indeed, where this car outshines anything else you might reasonably consider a rival? Except, perhaps, the Alfa Romeo Stelvio Quadrifoglio. Concerns its soundtrack. With the 1,000 pounds AMG performance exhaust fitted, there is simply no respite because, even at idle, you get a swollen chug audible from some distance away. The more theatrical inclinations of Mercedes AMG's engineers are particularly evident when a chrome mode switch toggle on the center console is used to select race. At this point, the fueling strategy ensures upshifts are accompanied by such a deafening crack that you really do have to exercise this engine with some sympathy for your surroundings. And so to fueling. Naturally, that V8 is unashamed in its thirst returning a touring economy of 26.3 miles per gallon despite the onboard computer reading 31.3 miles per gallon. With a 66-liter tank, the car's consequent motorway range will nudge 400 miles, which is poor without being embarrassing, although owners nevertheless seem destined for crushing fuel bills. Driven in anger on track, the GLC 63S managed just 7.9 miles per gallon. Meanwhile, the 9 speed transmission is a mixed bag. Although fast acting and tolerant of usefully early downshifts for engine braking, it is not always smooth in normal driving and particularly at low speeds. This contributes to the car's general lack of refinement. More on which in the following section. Mercedes AMG GLC 63 MBG and running costs from pound 66 common 9057 introduction design and styling interior performance ride and handling MPG and running costs verdict prices and specs. Having gone through the affault to bark skunk works that is AMG, this particular GLC coupe bears a far loftier price than its more pedestrian range mates. Where the standard GLC 220D coupe costs from £42,365, the GLC 63S coupe is priced from £78,560. Ours came in at £90,925 after options. That makes it significantly more expensive than two of our favorite fast SUVs, the £63,981 Macan Turbo and £69,500 Stelvio Quadrifoglio. They outshine the GLC in the depreciation stakes, too, with the Stelvio expected to retain 58% of its value after 36 months and 36,000 miles and the Macan 63%. The GLC 63S, meanwhile, manages just 52% standard kit is respectable, though. In addition to that thunderous V8, the Mercedes gets a sports exhaust. 20 in alloy wheels, a 360 dg parking camera, heated AMG performance seats, 8.4 in infotainment system with navigation, DAB radio and Bluetooth connectivity, and more besides. The 12,365 pounds of options on our test car included the 2,395 pounds premium pack, which adds a Burmester sound system and glass sunroof. 4,285 pounds ceramic composite brakes, and the 1,695 pounds driving assistance package with safety features such as active blind spot and lane keeping assist.